Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome once again to this television online, generally online. Uh, in this department, I discuss the issues of language, uh, language generally. Uh, it's a linguistic uh, uh, birth, a linguistic area that I've chosen for you to allow us to discuss issues pertaining to language. Language is a central aspect of your existence uh, as a society, as a person, as a member of a group uh, in the world, as a communicator with the world, as somebody who wants to do business with other human beings, whether they be in your community or outside, internationally, and so on and so forth. Language occupies pride of place in our existence. And we have to learn uh, language and uh, use the language that we learn uh, properly when we need it. Um, so it is important for us to learn uh, languages. First of all, even the languages we take for granted uh, that we think we know, such as uh, in our case, uh, the Tanzanians, Kiswahili, uh, there is still room for us to learn uh, much more uh, what we need to know about Kiswahili and how to use it, uh, the idiomatic expression that we need to use, the kind of uh, communication skills that you need to be able to, to, uh, to convey to your fellow human beings what you intend to convey to them, how you need to communicate and to enter into relationships with. All this takes some doing. It is not enough to say, I know this language. I was born uh, by parents who spoke it and therefore I know it uh, since uh, childbirth and I don't need to, to learn anymore. You have always something to learn, whether it be in Swahili, uh, as we shall see in this program, or in English, we need to learn a lot about the languages that we use. Um, and I will be bringing to you uh, certain insights that have come across in my long uh, life of uh, learning to use uh, languages. I'm still learning. You may not believe it, but I'm still a learner of English and Kiswahili. And from time to time, I learn other languages. Uh, I learn, for instance, even now, when I go to Malawi, I want to learn a little bit more Chichewa than I knew uh, when I was last uh, in Malawi. When I meet some Zulu speakers in South Africa, I would like to learn a little bit more about uh, Zulu and how it is spoken, how it is it uses subtleties, the subtleties, the niceties that you get uh, in the Zulu language or in any other language that I in encounter. Just like I want to learn subtleties in English, in French, in, uh, in um, Spanish. The most important thing is that we need a language to communicate with our fellow human beings. There is a story that I always refer to when I'm discussing matters linguistic, and that is uh, the Tower of Babel. When these people became a bit uh, too, too clever for their, for their own good, and they decided to build a, a long, a tall tower that would take them up to heaven to see what the big man was doing uh, behind the, the, the clouds. And they started uh, collecting uh, building materials and they, they started uh, going up until the big man himself looked down and said, oh, oh, they are coming to me now. And he said, I shall stop them. They shall not come to my realm. They shall not enter my kingdom. Now we know what the big man usually does. He sends floods. He sends fire and brimstone. He sends uh, locusts. He sends a, a plague of uh, frogs. He could have sent any of these. could have sent thunder and lightning. But what did he do? He just played with their language so that they could no longer communicate when they were asking for building materials, bring some more mortar. Can you bring some more uh, uh, stone? Uh, can you bring in some more cement and so on and so forth. They found themselves, they could not communicate and therefore the construction of that tower stopped and the whole enterprise fell through because of language. So you have to be very careful when you look at this uh, story. It's a very old Judeo-Christian uh, tale 
uh, that is uh, calculated to to put in your heart the fear of uh, the big man, God. But look at it another way. If you do not communicate uh, using words that are known commonly by uh, by everybody, how do you go on uh, building an economy or building a society or running an enterprise or doing a business if you cannot communicate uh, using language and linguistic skills that are common to everybody and everybody speaks to the other all the time you're talking at cross purpose there is no way you can build anything or conduct any uh, economic enterprise so we will have uh, moments of uh, of fun discussing uh, what language uh, we want to discuss at any given time be it english kiswahili or the other languages there are a number of uh, books that i have that show you the uh, origin of words and how they are used how they came about uh, what are the sociological factors underlying their existence and development how do people in different areas use them differently and so on and so forth so this will be i think and i hope a very uh, interesting uh, uh, experience in which we shall share uh, and uh, together enjoy the bountiful uh, pleasures of uh, language and linguistic uh, uh, thinking for those who have an interest in that area uh, there's always something to explore, something new to explore, something new to learn, something new to, to add to a store of, uh, of knowledge when it, when it concerns languages. So welcome, be with me uh, as we go along. We shall have um, experts come here from time to time and they will bring to you insights, other insights, more technical, more technical than I could, I could ever be. People who know uh, their subjects and who can dissect linguistic uh, phenomena uh, to almost near, near uh, perfection. They'll be here and we'll be discussing with them. We shall thrash out a few things. Uh, what are the common problems we have? Uh, what are the uh, points uh, of departure between the language that we speak here and the language that is spoken uh, elsewhere? I, I appreciate that uh, the language, whether it be Swahili or English that is spoken in Tanzania, is uh, markedly different from the language, uh, whether it be Swahili or English that is spoken in uh, Kenya. As for Uganda, let's not even talk about it. But we shall examine all these uh, things in a relaxed and enjoyable manner. And I invite you to be with me on this uh, voyage of uh, excitement and discovery. Now, if you like this, uh, as I say, uh, just uh, like, share, and leave your comment so that we continue with this conversation. Thank you.